So, next type of conveyor is trolley conveyor. Uses a series of trolleys supported from or within an overhead truck. So, ganito yung tsura niya sa unang picture, number 16. Next is power and free conveyor. Carries can be disengaged from the power chain and accumulated or switched on to spurs. So, medyo similar siya sa trolley conveyor. Except na, ano, gumagamit ng power chain and spurs. Ito yung tsura niya. Alos same lang siya sa tsura ng number 16. Next step is monorail. Overhead single track or track network on which one or more carries ride. So, ganito yung tsura niya yung number 18. Next is sortation conveyor. Sortation conveyors are used for merging, identifying, inducting, and separating products to be conveyed. So, meron siyang types. First is sortation conveyor, diverters, stationary, or movable arms that deflect, push, or pull a product to desired destination. Next type is sortation conveyor. Pack-up devices, one or more rows of power roller change that pop up above surface of conveyors to the product and build. Next is rotation conveyor. Sliding shoe or also called a sliding shoe sorter. Sliding shoe sorter uses a series of diverter slots that slides across the horizontal surface to engage product and guide it up the conveyor. So, ganito yung tsura niya. Ayan, parang hagdan. Next type is sortation conveyor or also known as tilting device. Trays or slots provide combined sorting mechanism and product transporter. So, ganito yung tsura niya. Nakatilt siya. Yun yung difference. Next type is sortation, sortation conveyor, cross belt transfer de device. So, ganito naman siya. Parang combination siya ng sliding tsaka ng tilt. Next is hover, overhead lifting devices. First is the hoist. Used for vertical transition. Example is lifting and lowering of loads. Hoist are categorized into duty classes. First is infrequent standby duty use for one or two days per month. Next is light duty, average a 75 start or stop per hour. Next is medium, maximum is 75 starts or stop per hour. Last is heavy and severe heavy. So, ganito yung tsura niya. Pamilyar naman siguro kayo. Next is cranes, used to move loads over variable, horizontal or vertical, but within a restricted area. So, may different type, types of crane. First is jib crane, horizontal boom, supported from a stationary vertical support. So, ganito yung tura ng jib crane. Yan. Familiar naman tayo dito sa mga constructions na ito tayo natin. Yan. Next is bridge crane. Bridge crane, bridge mounted on a truck that are located on opposite walls of the facility. So, ito siya, parang tulay. Kino-connect siya nung dalawang, sa dalawang ano, opposite one. Next is gantry, gantry crane. Single leg, double leg, and mobile types of gantry cranes. So, ito naman, merong paa. Ayan. Nakita nyo naman. Meron siyang gulong para pwedeng ilipat-ipat. Next is speech screen except that instead of a hoist, it uses a mask with forks or a platform to handle your clothes. So for storage equipment, storage equipment is used for holding or buffering materials over a period of time. Some storage equipment may include the transport of materials. First type is black stocking, no equipment. 
Block stacking is storage of loads on top of each other in stacks placed in lanes on the floor. Also known as floor storage. So, ito yung tura niya. Yung number... Ayun. Next is selective pallet rock. So, there are two types of selective pallet, pallet rock. First is single deep rock. Single position per... Single position, there's that per position. So, what's the other one? Okay. Next is double deep rock. Two pallets stored per position. So, ito naman yung itura niya. Ayan. Parang dual. Next is drive-in rock. Loads are supported by rails attached to the upright beams. Lift trucks are driven between the upright beams. So, ito yung itura. Medyo malabo lang. Next type is drive po rock. Similar to drive-in rock, except open at both ends, allowing access from both ends. So, ito naman yung core. Ayan. Pwedeng pumasok yung mga drive-in rocks para ilagay yung mga storage or loads. Next is pushback rock. Loads are supported on an inclined to enable gravity-based movement of the loads within the rock via roller. So, ito yung tura niya naman. Number five. Next is flow through rock, similar to push back rock in terms of storage. Density, except greater storage depth is possible. So, meron din siyang two types. Carton flow rock allows a large cubic volume of product to be accessible from a small pick face area, supporting relatively high. Next is pallet flow rock. Another type for storage equipment is sliding rock. Location of the aisle is changed by sliding rows of, rock, of rocks along guide rails in floor. So, ganito yung tura niya. Ayan, merong aisle sa gitna. Tapos, Next type is cantilever rock. Loads are supported by two or more cantilever arms. For example, horizontal beam supported at only one end. So, ayan. Familiar naman tayo sa cantilever, uh, ano, definition ng cantilever. So, ganito yung tura niya. Ayan. Next type is stocking frame. Interlocking units that enable stocking of a load so that crushing does not occur can be disassembled and stored, and stored compact when not in use. So, ito, stacking frame. Ayan, pwede siyang ma-disassemble para maka-okay pa yun. Next is bin shelving. <clears throat> Alternative to rock to store small, unpat, palletized items. People place either directly on shelves or in bins or cartons. Cartons. So, ganito yung tura niya. Para siyang may drawer. Next is storage drawers. Let's provide an alternative to bin shelving to store small loose items. So, ito naman storage drawers. Mas maliit yung mga, yung mga loads na nilalagay o yung in-store dito. Next is storage carousel. Carousel consists of a set of horizontally or vertically revolving storage basket or pins. So, ito siya. Inakuha ko yung ano, top view. Carousel. Next is vertical lift module. This is stored on trays inside a multi-bay and close that are delivered to the opening of a bay for picking by servo-driven lift carriage. So, ito yung tura niya. Number 14, 8 Three units are dispensed from parallel, parallel, arrays of vertical angle onto a belt conveyor that carries them into a into container. So, ito yung tulo niya. Next is automatic storage. 
or retrieval systems consists of integrated computer controlled system and combined storage medium transport mechanism and controls with various levels of automation for fast and accurate random storage of products meron siyang different types first is unit load as or rs used to store or retrieve things that are palletized or unitized and weight over 500 pounds. Next is mini load AS or RS used to store or retrieve small parts and tools that can be stored in a storage bin or drawer. So, mas malik yung capacity. Next type is man on board AS or RS used for in aisle picking operator picks from shelves, bins, or drawers within the storage structure. So, ito yung tura niya. Meron siyang, ano, parang elevator up and down. Next is deep plane AS slash RS. Similar to unit load AS or RS, except loads can be stored to greater depths in the storage structure. Storage structure. So, ayan. Mas malaki lang yung capacity. Material sandring equipment selection. An important issue is the classification level from which the material handling equipment is selected. First is high level, categories of equipment. Example, conveyors, cranes, industrial trucks, positioning of equipment. Positioning equipment. Next is inter intermediate le level. Equipment types with ca within categories. For example, not a roller conveyor, pallet jacket, or pallet truck, industrial trucks. Next is low level. Equipment models within an, an equipment. For example, ito example lang siya. Acme model X diesel powered counterbalance lift truck with a rated lift capacity of 500 pounds. So may specific siya na capacity. So, itong picture, parang example siya ng material handling selection. 